Hey everybody, and Sad the Road, and welcome back to Lou Game Lunchtime Games Club. I, I don't know about the boss. Don't mind me. For some reason, I thought I was hearing something in the. Oh yeah. <clears throat> right, okay. Now, so we left off. Uh, I have a new job now. <laughs> also, the Mew Mew Mew. <laughs> okay, god damn it. Right, as promised, I report to the country club for my first day of training to spy on Alex. Yes. Let's get creepy. It's like Darkwing Duck, but the degenerate version that needs to be burned. Why did I say that? Oh my god! Finishing the tour of the pool, I almost feel giddy as I look down at the sparkling blue water, the thick, almost cloying smell of chlorine making me feel like a kid again. Oh god, that's bringing back some memories. <sighs> so, to conclude our tour of the grounds, just remember you can access the indoor pool and the barbecue free of charge. Ooh! Ooh, a succulent, mm, roasted meat, mm, the rape off the bone. And you get a limit of two free guest passes for your pool access to the bonus all season long. Any quests before I drop you up to meet your trainer? Uh, nope, so not at all. Thanks again for responding to our at short notice, Ricky. Uh, my name is Koda. Right, that's what I said, Koda. Anyway, we've been getting an influx of guests this season. That's been hard to prepare for, so we really appreciate the help. Not a problem. Thanks for hiring me so quickly. I had scumped the teeth and asked me to get her into the country clip like I by good, but after touring it, I can't help but understand the way she feels. This place is gorgeous. My tour guide to the grounds, also known as my new boss, lets out a rumbling chuckle. Impressive, isn't it? Wait till you see your trainer. Lovely girl. It is an Alex, isn't it? Follow me. New girl. New girl. That's a lot easier if I remember her name. Oi, listen up. We got your new trainee. New girl, where are you? Coming. There's a crashing sound from the cupboard as the door bursts open, only for me to see a very... Oh, no. Well. Ah, but we found ourselves in a little bit of a predicament. <laughs> Hi, Twin Tails. How are you? Nice flower. Very familiar face. I just, but it's like, oh no. <laughs> Alex? Coda? What are you doing here? Bleshy. What am I doing here? No, what are you doing here? I work here. Indeed, but you both do. Meet your trainer. Why don't you introduce yourself? Least of all, so I can remember your name. I, I'm not sure which of us is more unsure of what to say. You seriously work here. I'm guessing we can uh, skip the introductions altogether. Pity. You know each other, I'm assuming? Not gonna be a problem, is it? Uh, well, Alex quickly composes herself, flashing a bright, polite smile that I know all too well. <laughs> right, the fake smile. Hi. We, we are acquainted, yes, certainly. Besides, sir, you needn't have worried. I'm certain that I can work with anyone without problems. I'm just teasing you, needing to fall over yourself. What is he, an old flame, future spark, or something else? I bumped the fucking pop filter. I assure you that couldn't be further from the... I didn't even be shy, girly. Just no snogging on the job. A wink, wink. He lets out a loud guffaw before clapping me on the shoulder. Please don't touch me. Ah, you do know each other already. We just don't know each other, biblically speaking, if you will. I'll leave it to it then. The boss shambles off, leaving Alex and I staring at each other with an expression on her face. Like she's staring at something absolutely disgusting. Why do you exist? Why must you follow me everywhere I go? So, I'm guessing this isn't your family's country club then. Alex has had a grim defeat. You guessed right, now just follow me to the utility cupboard. We need to clean the pool. What? Clean? This one's a lifeguard job. Yeah, I thought I was being hired on the food stand. The... That polar bear country club ad wasn't joking. There's a lot of work to do. Especially when they see the skylight open. Seriously? Yeah, it's really annoying because then it leaves you to be scooped out of the pool. But yeah, work is work. That's not at all what I meant, but Alex if they doesn't notice it doesn't care. Speaking of leaf scooping, catch. You know how to use one of these? She tosses me a long-handled tool when I recognize her scooping leaves off a pool surface. Or, you know, just any kind of litter out of a pool, yeah. Yeah, I do. 
Unless, of course, the wind or some drunken guest decides to put the uh, the chairs or the tables into the pool. We did that. We put them in the pool and then tried riding them and seeing how, if we could get them to float. And just, we were stupid kids, okay? I have a lot more to say. Uh... A lot more to say, a lot more to ask, but Alex seems too embarrassed to start talking, and I'm not exactly planning to force her. Good! <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. She grabs the broom, marches to this out of the pool as far away as possible from me. So much for training. Resisting the urge to complain, I finally get to work, sifting leaves up among uh, the water as quickly as possible. The work isn't difficult, but I have to admit the repetitive motion makes my arm pretty tired. I look over to see Alex is faring. Nice shorts. I mean, that's totally... Uh, maybe I shouldn't be so surprised, but Alex sweeps floor uh, with a fervor, slossing stray puddles back into the drains. Okay. I can't help but watch her as she works, her expression uh, surprised and determined, and the way those tight shorts hug her... Uh, I mean, suddenly Tifa's words come to mind. And why, the swimming pool, you won't spend all your time ogling cute girls in their swimsuits. She's not even in a swimsuit, though. She's wearing a, like, basically a jersey, more or less. I really jerk my it's a uniform, shut up. Not really a jersey, quote unquote, but I mean I quickly jerk my eyes away. I am not ugling her and anyway, she's not not wearing a swimsuit. And this glances at me curiously, probably because I look crazy talking to myself. I turn back toward the pool. Let me just get this over with already. <laughs> and the water is finally as clear debris as I can get it. I look up to ask what my next job should be. Honestly, my shoulders are aching, but doing the work passes the time a lot faster than I imagined sitting in silence would be. Yeah, but which would you prefer, honestly? I'd prefer just sitting and, you know, waiting. Even if I, I, I would not do well as a lifeguard. I, I, I don't do well in tense situations. Really, nobody's life should be in my hand ever. Leave that to someone more capable, you know? Someone who doesn't have panic attacks. To my surprise, though, I catch Alex staring at me from the edge of the pool as she leans against a broom. What? You're not going to ask me anything? I shrug, walking over the utility closet to toss the leaf scoop inside. Would you answer if I did? Well, she hedges, but I'm pretty sure I can figure out the answer. Yeah, that's what I figured, too. Can't blame the girl for asking. You kept looking at me, so I thought you were going to say something. I shrug. Not really. I was just thinking. You work really hard. Is that weird? Is it bad if I think the answer is yes? I mean, I guess, I guess what he's trying to say is that his preconceptions was that you were more academically inclined. So a physical job was not something he expected you to really take to. But then again, I really wouldn't see Alex not applying herself just in general. She seems pretty dedicated. Only if I don't know why. It's gonna sound terrible. I'd probably hurt her worse. Try me. She kneels on the edge of the pool, folding her legs as she sits in the tile and stares at me curiously. Not quite curious. Well, girls like you. Like, okay, no. Stacy, I absolutely would. But again, like I said, Alex just looks like she would apply herself regardless of whatever task she's given. That she would do her utmost and do the best that she could because that was gonna help her move forward in whatever it is she's doing you know do a job do it right do it right the first time and do it well or at least tr do your best to do so you don't have to be perfect but perfection is always un is unattainable to begin with so it's always to keep moving forward you know that kind of thing well girls like you like stacy again don't let them pray to stacy stop that i just have a hard time imagining people who are super rich having to work hard, uh, hard a day in your life, but you're taking all of this so well. It's just kind of surprising. Even as I say it, I glance at her guiltily. You should. Sorry, like I said, it sounds terrible. Alex shrugs idly, the corners of her lips tilting up into a smile. To be sta uh, fair, to be Stacy, fair did. To be fair, Stacy did whinge about standing in line at, an at the anime convention. I'm not surprised that you're so well surprised you've got one thing wrong though i'm not like stacy which is exactly why i again coda coda dumb and i'm, I'm sorry for that 
What do you mean? She has that a bright, clear... Okay, Coda, are, are you... How dense can an, a visual novel slash anime slash whatever, you know, protagonist get? I mean, seriously. They are complete opposites, and I'm pretty sure you've noted that in the past. And they just conveniently leave your brain, the door open, and the wind sweeps it out with the leaves, like you were taking them out of the pool. Was one of those the memory that Stacy is nothing like Alex? Ugh. The people I have to work with. She just had a bright, clear laugh like Bell's. It'd be the first time I've ever really heard from her. Not all people who have money get it by osmosis. My parents work hard and they taught me to do the same. Okay, good! Just because you have money doesn't mean there's nothing dishonorable about getting your hands dirty to earn it. I left my eyebrows at that. But you've been trying to keep it a secret. It's not a bad thing why I bother doing all that. I like shrugs noncommittally. Do you think of it, it'd be socially acceptable at a school like ours? Especially for a girl of my reputation to be doing work like this? People see me as... perfect. It's meant to be a joke, but to my surprise, she nods at me seriously in reply. Exactly. And perfect girls don't exactly get their hands dirty. I stared at her speechlessly. Wait. She doesn't really believe that she has to be perfect. Does she? I hope not. Very unhealthy for a number of reasons. I'm not sure what to say for a long moment, so I stand, rubbing my neck awkwardly. Hey, I'm thirsty. Oh, well, you bet I am. I'm the uniform. <laughs> Sorry. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba Shoot me. Uh, you want anything? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, no, thank you. Not even water. She has to taste, so I take my chance. Okay, water it is. I quickly walk off to grab a drink as fast as I can before she can turn my offer down. The time I'm sure you want some Yumi Mew. The time I, I get back, Alex is bundling the wet leaves into refuse bag. When I call her name, she jumps about ten feet in the air. Pretty sure that's an extreme exaggeration. Otherwise, she should be in the Olympics. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You didn't. I'm fine. Look at the way her hands are still trembling, but as she has my gaze, she clenches the edge of the bag to conceal it. Right. Catch. I toss the water bottle. She grabs it easily from the air, cracking it open faster than I expect. I try to stare as she chucks it down. Yeah, just... Would it have been that bad to just say, say she was thirsty? I must out of the pool and I take a uh, seat in the be uh, beach chair, drinking my own water steadily. You're not really supposed to chug it. I mean, I th isn't it recommended that you, like, sip at it? Well, and that might be in certain situations. Uh, I still don't think you're supposed to just chug, but, you know, I, uh, I may be mixing up, like, recommendations here. But I'm almost positive I heard that at least in some circumstances it's best to sip at water. Uh, I also think I've heard before, again, don't know if this is true, that cold water, uh, does like your body doesn't process it as well as if it's warm or something like that it doesn't meta like, it take like, take it in or I, I don't I don't I'm not a biologist so I don't know and this is also I've heard off the cut of off the cup and I've never known whether I should believe it or not it's just stuff that I've you know registered and kind of filed then is maybe this is a thing never bother looking up to see if it is now Duh. you know Alex's voice breaks the silence as she looks at me coolly. Which is pretty much how she usually looks at something if it's... You know, she either looks at it coolly or disdainfully. I didn't expect you to really try to get this job. I was definitely bluffing. If it makes you feel any better, I got this job by accident. <laughs> of course it did. All those job applications I filled out and you just got hired immediately at this one of a chance. Figures. Alex. She didn't for a moment staring at me. I can almost feel the rejection in her con uh, conversation tainting the air between us. Ah, never mind. Sorry. I know I hate questions, but it's kind of hard to adjust to it. I'll lay off. I like this hard stare softens into something like pity. Three questions, Coda. What? I would have taken a long time to finish the pool without you here, so I'll give you three questions. I look at her suspiciously. Will you answer them honestly? That's going to be a question. Right there. Ding! One question used. Probably. Also, I have two questions. Yep. 
Wait, that didn't count as one of them. It was a question, wasn't it? <laughs> Blech. It wasn't. You're just trying to get answering more questions, aren't <gasps> I stopped myself. If I say aren't you, she'll probably count that as a question too. I take a deep breath. Why are you trying to get a job so badly? Her answer's immediate. Transcripts. You already knew that, I think. And then she looks away, avoiding my gaze. Basically, when I told my parents I wasn't going to be an student accountant anymore, they said I had to rejoin to get a job. Seriously? Sounds pretty harsh. Not really. Noticing my confusion, Alex smiles. I know what you're thinking, wouldn't rejoining be easier, but the honest truth is that I couldn't go calling back after we left so suddenly. Everyone would think I made a mistake of my reputation. Let me guess, perfect girls don't make mistakes. She nods. Anyway, last question. Oh, well, I don't have any more. Are you sure? Last chance. I'll go into the pool thoughtfully. If I'm honest, I do actually. Does me working here bother you? But actually, I don't have the guts to ask. I shake my head back and forth slowly. At least you're honest with yourself about it. No, nope, got nothing. <laughs> but maybe you should have asked anyway. She shrugs and downs the rest of her. I mean, uncomfortable. The reason why would be what mattered. The reason why it made her uncomfortable would be what was important. Because, I mean, depending on that reason, then maybe it would be, you know, kinder of you to quit. Otherwise, for another reason or a set of reasons, there would be no per reason for you to quit, you know? It would be selfish of her to want you to quit to be uncomfortable for those other reasons. I'm being very vague about it, but you get the point. There's, it's a subset kind of thing. Uh, she shrugs and downs the rest of her water bottle, catching a stray droplet with her tongue. I admit it. I stare a little harder than necessary and force myself to look away as she lowers her head. Fit yourself. Honestly, she's already said what probably feels like too much for her, so it's probably best for me to just leave it alone. Thanks for the drink, Coda. No problem, Alex. Thanks for the honest talk. No problem. She seems satisfied for the most part, and her expression is somewhat more, somewhat more relaxed. Hey, Alex? Yeah. I won't tell anyone what you told me. Or we're about your working here either. And for the record, I know you feel like I have to protect your reputation, but I don't care about stuff like that. If you want, you can be yourself around me. She looks surprised for a moment before her gaze melts into a warm smile. Thanks, Coda. I think I knew that somehow, but it's nice to hear it all the same. If I, uh, if I were beside her, I'd touch her on the shoulder, but even from across the pool, I don't really feel like I need to. In fact, I feel a little closer to her already. Inch by inch. <laughs> you know. Take the strides as you need them. Right. And I'm going to call the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. That was interesting and informative and a lot of fun. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.